My orange polenta cake with honey and rose water syrup is a fragrant and moist cake, which is not only visually beautiful, it also has the most delicious spice, sweet orange and honey flavor. The cake can also be made gluten-free as long as you use gluten-free baking powder. The unique thing about this cake batter is that it doesn't use flour. In fact, instead, it uses polenta and ground almonds to create something quite special in terms of texture, but also in flavor. Now, I'm gonna spice mine with some cardamom pods, and cardamom pods are, suppose, they're kind of really a distinct flavor, almost kind of medicinal if you use too much, but you get them in these little green pods like this, and what we need to do is extract the seeds from them. So, if you pop one or two, I have a few that are extracted already in here, and bash them with a pestle and mortar like this and just lightly do that and what you'll find is it cracks it open and exposes those little seeds and it's those little seeds which just smell absolutely amazing and give a real intensity to a cake like this so just push them out and you can get rid of the husks and then just bash it until it's a fine powder and the instant you start bashing them you get this incredible smell wafting up your nostrils like any cake, this cake starts off by creaming some butter and some sugar. Caster sugar goes in. Now it's important, like any cake, to make sure that you have softened butter when you start. It just allows it to cream much easier. So now that this has become a really pale, light and fluffy, creamy mixture, what I'm going to do is add in the eggs. Now just use a spatula and just scrape down the sides. And I'm gonna add the eggs one at a time and this will ensure that the mixture doesn't split. One large free range egg first in. Head down on your mixer and just beat until it's thoroughly incorporated. It really is worth the time you take by adding one egg at a time because if this mixture splits, it's really not a pretty sight. So just add it slowly, one at a time. And I find if the mixture looks like it's going to split, just keep beating it and you will get it to come together. So pop your head down and then whisk it through. And as I add these eggs, it's quickly transforming from a very kind of thick mixture into something that's a little bit more liquid. And the last egg goes in and a good beat through. Now, my mixer has done all the hard work, so we've got a beautiful, light and fluffy mix. And now, at this point, I'm gonna add my dry ingredients in here. So I have some ground almonds, which go straight in. No need to sieve here, we're not using flour. Polenta goes in. And polenta is ground cornmeal and has a wonderful flavor and texture. And also some baking powder. And the baking powder here will give a good rise to the mixture. But do make sure, if you want this to be gluten-free, that you use gluten-free baking powder. The addition of the polenta here really adds this fantastic yellow colour and really makes our cake something special. So now, to embellish this beautiful little cake, we have a little drop of vanilla extract. We have the ground cardamom. And instantly, as you hit that against the batter, this fantastic smell wafts around the room. Really something special. And now, the zest of two large oranges like this. And it really will pump this cake batter with some fantastic citrus freshness. So that's the zest of two oranges. And I'm actually going to use the juice of these two oranges to create a lovely syrup, which will go over the top of the cake once it's come out of the oven. So at this point, just fold all that orange zest, cardamom and vanilla extract through. And then I'm going to transfer this into a prepared baking tin. So I have a springform tin here, which is lined with a sheet of parchment paper. And I've just buttered the base, which will allow us to take this out fairly easily. It's thick and spreadable, so you can just get big lumps of it in first. And now just tease that over to the sides and spread it so you have an even finish. So once you've this spread out, this is gonna go into a hot preheated oven at 180 degrees Celsius, and it'll cook for 40 minutes. This orange polenta cake has cooled 
ever so slightly, I've taken it out of its tin and popped it on a cake stand like this. And at this point, I'm gonna take a skewer and just pierce little holes all through the surface of the top of the cake. I have a syrup which I've made from the juice of the two oranges, alongside some honey and a little drop of rose water, which adds really interesting flavor on top. The syrup I've made is gonna be trickled while it's still hot over the surface of the cake, and the cake is just gonna soak it all up and become really plump and moist. So here's my little syrup, and just drizzle it very gently over the top and you can allow it to trickle down the sides. It'll eventually soak up all that lovely juice. But that's looking pretty good. So now to finish it off, I have some chopped pistachios. So I'm gonna sprinkle just in the center and around the cake, and then finish finally with a little bit of orange zest. And now all I'm gonna do is finish it off with a little bit more of that hot syrup. 